From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Liberia, a country in West Africa and home to more than 4 million people, is experiencing the worst Ebola virus outbreak in history. So far, more than 2,000 Liberians have lost their lives to Ebola, and the virus continues to travel rapidly throughout the country. Dr. Soka Moses works around the clock treating the sick. The most important aspect is to move sick people as fast as possible from the communities. To do that, you need a very strong referral network. You need a lot of ambulances, if possible, each one ambulance per uh, district. When Ebola first hit Liberia, Julius Prout, a clinician, was inspired to open his own facility the St. Paul's Bridge Community Clinic in the capital city, Monrovia. With a small staff of six, he treated patients in need of urgent care. But it didn't take long before the disease took a toll on Julius, putting a strain on his family's finances. When I came down with the virus, my family, the aspect of their financial support began slow. Things were difficult on them. For days he fought the lethal symptoms, his life hanging by a thread. Ebola has affected all areas of Liberian society, says Antonio Vigilante, resident representative of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. Prices are increasing and particularly food prices are increasing, so it becomes more difficult for households to meet their needs. Determined to stop the virus from claiming more victims and severely crippling Liberia's economy, UNDP is working with several UN agencies to bring hope to Liberians at this grave moment in their country's history. We have to start thinking now on how to reactivate the self-sustenance of people, the la their livelihood their occupation, their access to jobs, to microcredits. So this is something that has to start now to be prepared when the moment comes. The disease continues to cross borders and reach new continents. To date, more than 10,000 people have been infected and more than half confirmed as fatalities. To control the virus, scientists and the medical community are working closely with the World Health Organization, WHO, and governments to develop new experimental vaccines and serums to fight Ebola. In October 2014, one vaccine, VSV EBOV, engineered by a group of Canadian scientists, was shipped to Geneva for testing. If the results from the clinical trials are positive, this vaccine could be available in a few months. Back in Liberia, doctors and nurses worked swiftly to save Julius. After several weeks, he was tested again for the virus. Fortunately for me, I came through. One more, I had the opportunity to rejoin my family after the long period of isolation. Julius has beaten the disease, but he feels the stigma associated with Ebola every day. Until a cure is found and rapid action is taken, the suffering is set to continue. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.